So you've already worked out how to make your robot move uh, forward and backwards, left and right. Now I'm going to show you a few more advanced features inside EV3 Classroom. If we come down to events, you can see here that you don't need to always start when the program starts. You could say when the button is pressed, for example. So I can get rid of this command and I can say when button number three is pressed, then run this program. I could change this from button number three is pressed to different distances with the ultrasonic sensor or I can incorporate other types of sensors into this as well. The other thing you can do in your controls is you can create loops. So you can create a repeat loop forever and you can say if you have a movement that you want to move uh, motors A and D which are my motors up here that are plugged in motors A and D I want to move it straight move forward repeat forever the other thing I can do is I can change this loop so I can tell it to instead of using all of these commands I can delete them all I can go back to this event when the program starts I can say wait until and then this is looking for a hexagon to put in so if I come over to the sensors I can say wait until the touch sensor is pressed and I can drop that in there the touch sensor is plugged into number three as you can see up here so my program my robot will wait until the touch sensor is pressed and then it can ex execute a command like move forward for one rotation the other way you can use controls is you can say repeat until so I want my robot to repeat until and if I come back and look for a hexagon I can say repeat until the button is pressed again so what this program will do is when I press the button the robot will move forward until I press the button again and it will stop the robot moving forward you can change these hexagons to any types of sensors there's lots of different options here as you can see so you can mix and match your commands and the different programs that you develop with your controls your sensors and your events over here events controls and sensors